folks, welcome back to another edition or episode of The Art of Being with the Act Matrix. Uh, I'm Kevin Polk, one of your hosts, and, and there I'm, is Phil. And I'm Phil Tenalia, your other co-host. The, the co-host, and uh, here, we're going to talk about sports flow, how to get in a flow today, and uh, something you hear about a lot and something I'm familiar with. If you're watching this on YouTube, you will see I have my Nike shirt on. Ah, Nike, yes. An Oklahoma State University uh, uh, shirt. That's my alma mater. Very nice representing. I was not, except for a little bit of intramural, intramural tennis, uh, I was not, uh, <laughs> other than going to the games and stuff. Uh, however, uh, I, I have a long history of uh, consulting with sports psychologists and coaches. Uh, and I don't know what Phil does. Phil knows the I've idea. done some coaching. With, I have some work with uh, high school coaches. Oh, okay. So, and, uh, so uh, we have, history, here. I have keto practice, so a lot of flow going on there. He's an Aikido guy. I'm a tennis guy, by the way. Um, and many times if you watch a tennis match, you'll hear him talk about the, the player getting in the flow. But for that matter, it's almost any sport, yes. if you listen to the commentator, eventually that word flow yep. uh, or something like that word will come out. Like uh, soccer, so, lacrosse, right, right. It's, dance, gymnastics. Right. But it's, heck, for that matter, race car driving. Yes. Um, this, all of it. And, and th that horseback riding. Get into the flow. Yeah. And, uh, and so it was a little, oh, wow. Well, of course, you can just demand flow. Say, okay, body, go into flow. Turn uh, right on. Yeah, <laughs> turn on the flow switch, and, and it's on. It's of course, awesome. that's the problem. <laughs> you don't have a flow switch that yeah. turns on. Uh, so, uh, so let's show them real quick, and then we'll talk about it. All right. So, so we're going to use the ACT matrix. We're going to use the ACT matrix to help get into flow today. Get, get into flow. And so if you're not familiar with it, you're brand new, you're in sports, you've never heard about this before, the ACT matrix is a very simple diagram where your senses are up at the top. That includes the proprioceptive sense of where your hands and feet and your body are in space, uh, which is very important for yep. sports. And, uh, but it also has seeing and hearing and feeling with your skin, you know, the sense of touch and smell and whatever I left out. All your senses are up there are represented up there at the top of the, the vertical line. Uh, down at the bottom of the vertical line is your mind. Uh, and that's your thoughts, feelings, urges, stuff like Memories. that. Memories. Right. Uh, and uh, of course, both of those things are with you all the time. You know, your senses are there and your mind is there all the time. Uh, toward is, uh, we won't be talking too much about today, but toward is uh, toward who and what's important to you. Uh, away is getting away from uncomfortable feeling stuff like pain uh, and such. And so you, you want to avoid that uh, stuff. But makes it an urge to avoid it. And sometimes you do avoid it. We won't talk about that too much today because other than it being an obstacle to flow, this flow state, yeah. um, we, we want to leave that in the background. We're going to pretty much stay right here in the middle We're of the line. Stay in the vertical line, right, uh, for, for flow. Uh, and so, how do you do flow? Okay, well, I want to first tell you about how to do it on a tennis perspective, okay? Uh, and a nice thing about tennis, especially, uh, and, and there's, I think there's several other sports like this, where you can, uh, like, practice serves by yourself. So uh, if you're a golfer, you can obviously go out on the driving range and practice drives or go on the putting, you know, green and practice putts. Um, so there's other things. And of course, with martial arts and stuff, you can practice yes. for yourself. Uh, and it, it sort of starts there. Uh, so that's a nice place to start. And what you want to start with is, what do you think, Phil? Uh, well, I'd say we'll go start right up there at the top of the diagram, Kevin. <laughs> the senses. You're going to pay very close attention. Notice in the middle of all this diagram is, is always the word noticing. So if you're new to this, you're, you're coming from a sports somewhere on YouTube and you found us, uh, it's uh, 
noticing is a big part of all of this. And so you're going to notice all your senses. And those and arrows are what's coming at you. Coming at you. And that includes like where my hand is, where my racket is, you know, that stuff. You're going to notice all your senses. And really right at first, that's what you do. Now you can look around and notice if you're on a golf course or putting green or a your living room or wherever you are, you're yeah. about to do your practice, yeah. whatever, you can notice all that stuff as well. Uh, and just notice, really notice your, your senses. Uh, I am, I'll go to tennis if you, if you want to play tennis. At this point, I would recommend that you really notice the tennis ball. Ah. And how it feels in your hand, the color of it, the seams of it, the lettering of it. Really notice that tennis ball. Just take, just four or five seconds. You don't have to take a long time. I'm not talking about a, a 20 minute of observation of a tennis ball. <laughs> hey, we've got some balls there. Hey, <laughs> you're going to go shoot baskets uh, for basketball. I forgot about shooting yeah. for basketball, uh, practicing free throws or something. Or the driving range if you're golfing. You'd notice, you'd notice the ball. You'd notice, and, then, and then, of course, with these racket sports, not so much with basketball, obviously, but you're going to have a racket or a golf club or a lacrosse stick or something to notice. So notice the ball, notice the implement you're going to do, uh, use to hit the ball with. If it's basketball or something, then notice your hands. Ah. Okay. Whatever is going to do the, the moving of the ball. Coming into contact with the ball. Yeah, that kind of thing. And then you can expand this to like running and stuff as well. But for simplicity's sake, let's, let's stay with it. Uh, ball thing. So you're going to really going to notice that. Okay. And so that's it. You're just standing there noticing the senses, the ball, whatever you got to hit the ball with, whatever. You're just and taking in all your five senses and making sure you're noticing all of those. Okay. Uh, and so now along comes your mind. Oh, yeah. That pesky little guy down there on the bottom. Actually, it was there all along. Yep. Uh, and in this, you know why you're looking at stuff. You are simply noticing your mind. Uh, you might notice that there's stuff like, I got a win showing up. Oh, and I man. think Bill is putting down, I got a win. Yep. And he's actually putting it. I'm putting it in two places right now. He's putting it in the lower left. And actually, he think you could even be saying it out loud while you're think, thinking it on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And uh, this is a way moves because you're afraid of losing. Yeah, and notice the ball is still up there at the top. <laughs> and, exactly. So first, let's just cut to the chase. Your mind is not your friend. There sport. you go. Let's, let's put it that way. Including, folks, positive stuff. Yeah. You'll... Even I, I watched some YouTube videos recently, and it was the power of positive thinking, da da da. No. But nor is it the power of negative thinking. It's not the power of any thinking. <laughs> it's thinking and your mind stuff is not your friend. So we're just going to put it right there at the bottom. <laughs> right. It, it, it doesn't matter if it's positive, negative thinking, whatever thinking, it's not your friend. And here's why. I will go into why. Another way of looking at the act matrix is your amygdala and motor cortex, the stuff where you instantly react to stuff. So let's say that a bee landed on your arm and you saw it and it hasn't stung you yet, but you, you felt it land on your arm. What, what happens, anybody out there? Uh, <laughs> right. You take evasive action really quick. There is not one thought whatsoever that gets in there. That's totally amygdala, motor cortex, you know, where your senses, amygdala, motor cortex, it's very fast thinking. And Daniel Kahneman, a psychologist, would have called that. Think, he wrote a book called Thinking Fast and Slow. That's fast. Yeah. That's notice, the notice your mind has nothing to do with running away from the bee. Nothing to do with it. Not in the picture. Well, that's 
the flow stuff works. Yeah. <laughs> it's there. It's there in the very fast stuff. It's not down in the mind because it takes too long. It just takes several more milliseconds for thoughts to develop. Or if you think a thought and then try to implement, you know, like, like you're trying to uh, keep your eye, you're telling yourself, keep your eye on the wall, keep your eye on the wall, keep your eye on the wall. Well, even when you do it, I'm not saying that's a bad thing to think, of course. However, it's slow. Yeah. It's just going to take quite a bit of time before that, that gets up there. That's, it's yeah, fast as up top. Yeah. And that's obviously in any sports, speed is of the essence. Reaction time. Reaction time. It's just fast. And, you know, you're just not going to contemplate the nature of the universe uh, <laughs> while, you're, while, while you're reacting to, to something coming at you. It just doesn't work that way. So any thought's not it. So, so we're, but you can't shut the thoughts off. That's the problem with thoughts is they just keep on rolling around. And they're there. They don't go away. And if you try to not have them, you have them even more. That's even worse than positive or negative thinking. Yeah, they just keep coming. Somebody tells you don't think. Oh, great. Yeah. Now I'm thinking even more. Right. Uh, right. Get those thoughts out of your head. It doesn't work that way. How many times have you heard that? Just don't think about that. You've heard just it don't worry about it. But it's really, it's impossible. Literally, folks, there's not many things I'll be very divisive, this, this decisive about, but it's impossible to think. And if you tell yourself not to think, you'll think in the next millisecond. So, so give that up. So back to the word noticing. You're going to notice your mind like it's in a field way far away. <laughs> You're going to notice it over there <laughs> doing its thing. <laughs> All right. Noticing that mind over there. It's noticing whatever stuff is, is happening but you want to notice but then you want to get back to your flow state stuff okay and this is about noticing whatever you're doing uh in terms of sports and i'm sort of picking on racket sports because i'm a tennis guy so with tennis you're going to and you're going to practice the serve or you're going to toss the serve up you're going to toss the ball i'm sorry you're going to toss the ball up but you got to watch the ball. It's really important to watch the ball. Oh, yeah. Uh, it just really is. There's no ball, no doubt time. about it. Uh, you know, and so just actually that's not very hard to do. Uh, <laughs> you got to tell yourself all the time, but it's not very hard to watch the ball. It's sort of natural. Uh, so you just watch the ball. The next thing you want to do is drop the racket down behind your back. So however you get there, and if you'll no notice – Tennis players, uh, very good tennis players, they all have their little rituals of how they get the ball in the air and how they get the, the racket hanging behind the back. What happens from the time you have the ball and the racket here to the ball gets up in the air and that more power to you, choose your style. <laughs> but at one point, that ball is going to be up there in the air and that racket's going to be hanging below down at your back. Right. You want to notice that state. And that's it. Notice that state. And then bring them together. But you don't worry. Your motor cortex will take care of that. Yeah. Your mind will not have to do anything about that. That's, that's your motor cortex. If, if it misses, that's okay. I mean, if you like, don't hit the sweet spot in the middle of the racket. Most people are familiar with sweet spot. It's right, pretty well dead center of the racket. You know, whatever. Uh, in a golf club, it's right in the middle of the golf club. You know, uh, in a lacrosse stick, same way. It's right, right there, smack dab in the middle. It's the sweet spot. And if it misses, just notice it missed. And then notice your brain, your mind beating up on you, whatever. Fine, fine, fine. That's not how you learn. <laughs> <laughs> you'll just toss another serve and do it again notice the ball up there now you can notice the fuzz on the ball you can notice the seam on the ball you can draw a little clock face on it and have 12 o'clock 
two o'clock, ten o'clock, whatever on the ball. Put your favorite person's face on there if your you want. Favorite person's face on the ball or your least or, person. Yeah, or your least person. Yeah, that's ball. more popular. Probably. I don't care. <laughs> you watch that, and you're feeling that racket dangling, and then you just let nature take over, and those two things come together, and then notice the result. Very carefully notice the result. If you do that a few times, you're going to greatly increase the probability that you're going to find flow. So that's it. It's that simple. So we're that this far into it. However many minutes we've been recording that, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you're going to increase. I can't say it's going to guarantee. I'm not guaranteeing here. Nope. Can guarantee, but I can I can guarantee it will increase the probability you'll find flow. Right. And 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 why now? It, it, you say, well, I'm not I'm not in the mood, or what about other shots? Well, sure. The stuff in tennis, you have control. People usually, you know, they first learn they drop the ball, it bounces, then they hit it, you know, with their forehand, and then you get to where you can do it with your backhand. Same thing, okay? Same thing. <laughs> However you get the ball, bounce it or whatever, so then it's up and ready for the racket to hit, you connect up. This is proprioception, by the way. That's the name of it is. Know where the racket hit, head is. Just feel it back there. It's just there. There is the ball. Bring them together. Notice the result. Don't. And now people say, oh, well, you need to start low, start high, start side. I don't care. Well, or anywhere. Guess what? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, let your body adjust. <laughs> let, let your body adjust. Your body will make the course corrections it, it needs to make if you get your mind out of the way. Right. And it, now, but Phil's an Aikido guy. Yeah. It is the same with Aikido. Well, absolutely. It's the same thing because in the, well, after we train, it's the same thing. After you train the technique, now it's time to, now it's time to be on the mat with your partner. And what, what you want to do in Aikido is you don't focus on what your partner, uh, on, on his hand or his arm or any part of his body. You take the whole focus of your partner in front of you and you keep that uh, relaxed uh perception going on and then your body will do what it what you have trained it to do uh what happens uh, with most of us aikido people is the mind will jump in and the big thing that jumps in kevin is fear fear yeah. of fill in the blank of messing up of doing it wrong of looking stupid and as soon as that happens it has captured your attention and you are no longer in flow and another way to say it slow thinking has gotten a hold of your attention. Exactly. Well, thinking. This mind has now come up here. In any martial art, if you're actually doing the martial art, you're not talking about it. Yeah. Somebody is actually coming after you. Yeah. Slow thinking is not your friend. No way. <laughs> well, it's the same with with with. with tennis or anything else yep. yeah so the mind and, and the same thing i'm afraid i'm going to miss the shot i'm afraid i'm going to look like a fool i'm afraid i'm going to lose i'm afraid you know this and then phil's got it fill in the blank i'm afraid fill in the blank yes <laughs> that's fear. F -E -R. That's well, whatever and that's you know and, and it's it's fear based on thinking you know it's, it's your ego getting in the way Oh, if you absolutely. really want to yeah. get to it, that yeah. sort of psychological term, but it's your ego. You're afraid that you're going to, you know, somehow lessen yourself or something. Yep. And once that gets in there, kaboom, you're out of flow. No more flow. Anybody that's been reported being in flow knows, well, you know, were you thinking about winning or losing? Oh, no, actually, no, I wasn't. No. No. And no. I will mention, so you get into flow and you lose. Okay. Yeah. You were in flow. It's cool. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's not about winning or losing, folks. It's about getting in flow. And it's not about hitting great tennis shots. It's about getting in flow. It's not about hitting great golf shots. It's about getting in flow. Uh, we're not talking about all that stuff of, yeah. of uh, incrementally getting better and better at something. No. So you could be a beginner at tennis and get into flow. 
You can be a beginner at anything and get into flow. Yeah. Um, so the but, flow state is yeah, there. Right. And the winning uh, and the losing would just get in the way of the continued of the flow or getting back into the flow. Exactly. So uh, and that and now the flow is absolutely anybody who's played very much sports, you know, very much martial arts, very much anything uh, has has at least experienced a few seconds of flow. Oh, yeah. Right. And you don't, you don't have to be at it very long or at least no. a second or two of it will flow yeah. up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And of course, then you try to think your way into doing it. And, and then you're out of flow again. <laughs> well, how do you do it? I'm going right. to go back over. Yeah. Go to your five senses. Yep. Yeah. And in, in the world of flow, your five senses are your friend. Very, All the time. very much so. All, All the of your senses yeah. are your friend. Yep. Uh, and you're being curious. The whole the issue is you're really being curious about what's going to happen next. You're looking forward to what's going to be coming your way. Exactly. You're right. And so what you see and what you hear and where your body is and how and, and, and the, the relax or the tension of your body. How yeah. does it how does it feel? Because in sports, you're always going from a relaxed state to a tense state back yeah. to a relaxed state. You know, you're you're tensing and flexing, right? There's fancy right. names for it, but you know, you're tensing up and, and yeah. relaxing, or you're, you're winding up and hitting, and then you relax. So it's always that. Well, pay attention to that. Uh, all of that movement and all of that, that stuff, you, you all through your senses. Uh, and the, sense, the six that you really hear about uh, include uh, all the regular five senses plus proprioception. Yeah. It's really important. Uh, that's how you do it, folks. We're not going to tell you about positive thinking. Uh, oh, the other part is just notice your mind. Yep. <laughs> just notice it. Just... It's along for the ride. <laughs> it's just coming along for the ride. Right. Along, along for the ride. <laughs> but in terms of flow, it just won't do you any good. Uh, and, and physiologically, we know that it's too slow. It's just too slow. Oh, by the way, that's done. Your thinking is all generated from your prefrontal cortex. And in terms of evolution, this is they say evolution, um, your, your amygdala, motor cortex, and we'll add in skin uh, as far as your, your sense of touch, those are the ancient. Those are the ancient ones. Yep. <laughs> long before of we, years of evolution can't be wrong right, right. Long before <laughs> we had sight and that's that we had yeah. a, a cellular membrane that was our skin yeah that was the first thing just the membrane exactly so it's very ancient and it's very fast and that research shows that uh, that is very fast what you pick up from your skin and then react is why when a bee lands on you so it's it's surprisingly fast to you because uh, it's it's it, it's faster than like seeing something through your eyes or hearing, uh, and then reacting. And those are still way faster than your thinking mind. Yeah. So any of your senses are way faster. Yep. Um, and so uh, the, your mind is your prefrontal cortex. It's right up here. In the, uh, those on the internet are listening on the podcast uh just know that it's right behind your eyeballs you know. uh, it's, uh, and it's just slower so you notice that you can't shut it off so you notice it okay uh but uh so if you've been taught you know i need to think positive think positive think positive i will get into flow i will get into flow don't right. do that <laughs> Not work. That's the best way to keep yourself out of flow. <laughs> keep you right out of flow. Right? <laughs> <laughs> not going to get you into flow, folks. Yeah. What will get you in is focus on your five senses. Really heavy. And yeah. so in terms of the matrix, really, you're right. You're trying to get all the way up there, right in the middle where the noticing is. I'm, if, and, and I, if the inter I mean, if you're on a podcast, uh, there's the, the, the right. vertical line. Right in the middle of the vertical line is a circle with noticing. You want right in there or slightly above it. That's where flow occurs. And uh, so the trick is to get really in solid contact with your senses. I described how you can do it with tennis. 
notice yeah. the ball, notice where the racket head is, and then let and then let go. And, that, and there's another thing, just let go. That you'll hear that kind of thing, or just be, <laughs> be yeah. one, with the, be one with the tennis ball, right? <laughs> Whatever, uh, that's that's where you'll find it. I mean, it, and it doesn't mean you're absolutely going to get it. Oh, another term in tennis, Phil. They'll say that, or I'll even say, you know, I'm not seeing the ball well today. Yeah, yeah. You heard that, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. The ball. Yeah. Another yeah. In Aikido, we'll we'll talk about IQ. You're not feeling the energy. No, yeah, exactly. Not, not blending. You're not blending with your partner. Right. It's yeah. more of a clanging or crashing. Right. Not flow. Yeah. Not, flow. <laughs> not seen. That's not flow. <laughs> not, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and so that's how. So it's that simple, folks. Uh, and uh, I'm not trying to say it's rocket science. Uh, it's just every single time I go out on the tennis court, I repeat that. Every single time. Now I can go on if you're with an opponent. And now they start sending stuff your way during the warm up. Same thing. Just start warming up. Notice the ball. Notice where the racket is. Notice the ball. Notice where the racket is. Uh, <laughs> that's, that, that, that's all you're doing. And the keto, notice where your body is. Notice what your opponent's doing. Yeah, it, 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 it's got to go to that. Uh, uh, this is when you're actually going to play. But you yep. got to practice drills and stuff. Well, oh, by yeah. all think yeah, about. Yep. Right. And, and what was this said? If you want to find out how to use the whole matrix uh, in the sports stuff, but you can uh, go to the actmatrixacademy.com and uh, sign up on the email list of the sign up to, to the free course, which is cool. And some uh, other goodies that you'll get. And then all you ever have to do is respond to an email. Uh, that we've sent you. I'll do the rest. And say, hey, well, I'd learn, like to learn more about the you know, sports coaching. Sports right. Well, you might want to teach others how to get in the flow. You know, you might be out you there. And, uh, how to do it. and we do have, we have Olympic people doing it. Uh, uh, mixed martial artists. Yeah, championship baseball mix. people. Lacrosse people. Yep. Football that, people. That use the matrix. It's yeah. in Major League Baseball. We did a, one of our podcast shows. With, yes. The Matrix and Major yeah. Baseball, uh, but which I got a little bit into that when I said, gee, to the guest, I said, gee, uh, do they spend much time noticing baseballs? <laughs> and he was like, wow. Oh, uh, mm. uh, well, that was Kevin's little tweet toward yeah. flow. Yeah. Uh, that's, you got to get in the flow. Well, imagine hitting baseballs coming at you 90 miles an hour. Mm. You're not going to be yeah. thinking about that very no. much of it. No. The trigger. <laughs> yeah. You're going to want to be getting out of the way. <laughs> right. so there's all kinds of preparation, and we're not yeah. saying, you know, obviously, there's lots, of, oh, yeah, there's lots yeah. of skills to develop, all kinds of stuff. This Today, we've been talking about low. <laughs> not about winning, not about losing, not about getting better, not about getting worse. <laughs> yeah. In terms of skills, it's about low. Getting into the flow of things, and uh, it's that's it. Yeah, practice. It's cool to practice. And uh, now that I'm older, uh, I like to practice that more than I like any other thing about tennis in my own tennis game. I prefer just to practice finding flow. It's just cool to find, and it doesn't have anything to do with if I'm winning or losing. No, it's just, it does lead to more fun in the long run. And it's just much more satisfying. Right. But I'm old and I don't have anything to prove. Yeah. Chances of winning Wimbledon, what by long ago. Uh, 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 uh -huh. uh, only joking, folks. <laughs> Never even close. But, you know, I, 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 but for me, at least, all of that stuff has gone by the wayside. And the more interesting thing to discover is flow. Uh, and, uh, but it's valuable. Anybody knows Jordan, Michael Jordan talked oh, about yeah. it. Bill Russell oh, yeah. talked about it. Uh, Bruce Lee talked about it mm -hmm. in terms of martial arts. There were you know, lots, 
Roger Clemens in terms of pitching. Yeah. Off, off. Yeah. Everybody in the flow is about flow. So five senses, notice your senses. And where you're, whatever you're using to do your sport with, notice that too. Uh, and we'll be back. Yeah. And before we go, we're going to leave him with a quote then, right? Oh, yeah. The dance. Yeah. You can yeah. use this. Dance quote. Yeah. Yeah. There so, comes a dance quote. I'd like to leave you uh, with a quote that uh, I return to time and time again. Uh, and Martha Graham was a uh, world class dancer, just phenomenal. And she's got this quote that you probably have heard. If you haven't heard it, uh, I think it's a nice way to close up this podcast. So here we go. Here's what Martha said that speaks to flow. There is a vitality, a life force, a quickening that is translated through you into action. And because there is only one of you in all time, this expression is unique. This expre and if you block it, it will never exist through any other medium and be lost. The world will not have it. It is not your business to determine how good it is, not how it compares with other expression. It is your business to keep it yours clearly and directly to keep the channel open. And that's flow, folks. That's, flow. that's it. referring to flow. Yep. Keep the channel open, folks. And keep that flowing. Yep. <laughs> well, we'll be back with another right. podcast soon. I'll turn off the recording here.